I said, could y'all get at John Wall? Well, you know, you said our team? Yeah. yeah. It'd be good out there. With John Wall, with John Wall and Bradley Bill and them? Yes. Mm. So who's going to guard John going mm -hmm. downhill? You guarding John going downhill? Yeah, it's faster. He's just as fast. And he's coming left. John Wall? He's just yeah. as fast. Oh. Mm -hmm. And he's coming left. He's faster than John Wall? Yeah, and he's coming left. Same. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> he's good in practice. Go that way. Jump off the left leg. Mm. Go this way. Now, when he tries to jump, he can't jump like that off this leg, so he tries to jump two feet. Just jump straight up. I'm not talking about John Wall rookie. I'm talking about John when he got, uh, let's say, like five years in. Like John five five or six years in with that team. Smack him. John was not. John, John didn't have that. Gets the steal and what a pass to Porter. All right, y'all. So basically, like, I want to talk about this. Uh, excuse me. I want to talk about this situation with Gilbert Arenas. Now, the one thing, first thing I'm going to say is this, right? Gilbert Arenas needs to stop being disrespected. People are starting to disrespect Gilbert Arenas too much. Fans are getting mad, like, in the comments saying, yeah, man, Gil was never this and that, and John Wall is easily better, and Gil needed to be quiet. First of all, we need to stop disrespecting Gilbert Arenas. Um, fans keep talking about he wasn't that good for that long. The only reason that's the case is because he got hurt. He had a freakish injury where a player fell and collapsed his knee inward. And he was done after that. And then later on, he had the, he had the uh, weapon situation. But Gilbert Arenas, man, was really like that. Uh, you know, he was, he, he was in the interview. They was talking about John Wall. And Gilbert Arenas basically said he'll cook John Wall. You know? And... A lot of people agree. A lot of people disagree. The people that disagree, I feel like they was being mad, disrespectful, because they don't understand how good that Gilbert was. Gilbert Arenas, one of the things he said was he was just as fast as John Wall. Now, I don't know if he was just as fast, but he was definitely just as fast, if that makes sense. All right? If you, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. If it don't make sense to you, then you don't know. All right? I, I wouldn't say he was just as fast as John Wall. But he was just as fast Right And so at the end of the day He had a three level scoring game And one, this is one thing I always notice about John Because Gilbert Arena said he, He's only going to go left He can only jump off his right foot This facts That's the one thing I always notice about John Wall game He always trying to dunk with his left Because he don't got the same athleticism Jumping going to his right This is proven fact so when Gilbert was breaking it down, you know, a lot of people were saying, they, you know, he don't know what he's talking about. Um, I do think it's ironic how they play for the same organization. Um, but like I said, I just think Gilbert was bad. I think Gilbert peaked higher when he when he peaked because he was before 25. He was averaging 29 points a game. You feel what I'm saying to you? He was uh, giving you like at least like, what, like six assists at least. I think it might have been more. And so at the end of the day, his team was going to the playoffs and they would lose to LeBron James. Cause somebody in the comments said, yeah, well, the wizard, John Wall was, somebody in the comments said, like, yeah, yo, like, Gilbert gonna have 30, but John Wall gonna have 25 and 11, and his team gonna win. To make it seem like uh, Gilbert was never out here winning games. And, like, I really wish I would have screenshotted them comments, but somebody in the comments was like, yeah, yo, John Wall and them was winning, man. They just ran into LeBron James in the East, man. First of all, use any opportunity to glaze LeBron James. It's got nothing to do with LeBron James, man. See, this is why I can't, under I can't, under I can't have debate. See, LeBron fans ruin everything when it comes to debating basketball. Right, but at the end of the day, right, he said they were running to LeBron James. But the Wizards with Gilbert Arena did the same thing. Right? The Wizards with Gilbert Arenas did the same thing. Like, why do y'all think that the that 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 clip of LeBron and Gilbert is so popular when he he taught to Gilbert at the free throw line? They was in the playoffs. They lost to LeBron James, just like John Wall and them. So why y'all make it seem like Gilbert can't was like just wasn't out here winning game? Right? Why y'all make the same thing? And then the next year, in 07. Gilbert Arenas was injured. That's when he was injured. He got injured during the season. So he was out. Right? Y'all got to stop this mess, man. John Wall is a way better shooter than John Wall. Way better in the mid-range. Way better post-game. 
when it comes to cooking one another, Gilbert is literally gonna fry John Wall. Because yes, John Wall is a solid defender, but at the end of the day, you have to understand that Gilbert specializes in breaking down a good defender. You see what I'm saying? I think that Gilbert is better laterally because, like he said, John Wall really can only attack off that, off going that one direction. Um, like Harry Styles, right? So at the end of the day, right? I just don't like the disrespect that Gilbert is getting. And so at the end of the day, like, you know, you say you and a. You said Gilbert could cook Kyrie too. I mean, that's debatable. Now, now we talking because Kyrie actually has a three level scoring game. Gilbert Arenas and Kyrie to me are the two best one on one point guards. I got Gilbert next after Kyrie, so I think that would be a good matchup. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, bro, it is what it is. You got people in the comments saying, "Yeah, yo, like John Wall will easily cook him, um, not even close." That's nonsense, bro. Gilbert was only good for a couple years. So what happened to the injuries, man? See, as soon as John Wall got injured, he was dusky. And I won't talk about that, though. And I like John Wall. All right? I like John Wall. But it's the same thing. Don't make it John Wall. All right? I like John Wall. But it's the same thing. Don't make it seem like... Wait. Wait. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my bad. The Wi-Fi was messing up. Back then, if you got hurt, you was done. You said talk about football. You talk about football. I don't like football. I don't like it. All right? That's why I don't talk about NFL. I don't like football. I don't like football. All right? It is what it is, bro. You know? Um. That's it. But so at so at at the end of the day, right? When it comes to this conversation right here, me personally, I will pick Gilbert Arenas. If they was to play one on one, I'm picking Gilbert Arenas, eleven, two, four. If they was playing five on five, again, it'd just be a good game. I think Gilbert would give him the business. I think John Wall would get his numbers, but I don't feel as though that Gilbert that 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 John Wall. He said, "Y'all better not disrespect Gil." Exactly, yo. That's what I'm saying. I don't feel as though that John Wall can keep up. With, with this guy right here, man. I don't think that John Wall can keep up with Baron Davis. I don't think that he would be able to do these things against these players, bro. And so the disrespect that Gilbert has to stop, a lot of people think that, you know, because he has hot takes. Everybody got hot takes. Right? Everybody has hot takes. Um, So everybody want to disrespect Gilbert Arenas because he be having hot takes. You know, at the end of the day, he's doing something right. His his podcast has been growing. Gilbert Arenas is a big inspiration to me for the podcast game. When I was really watching his podcast, like around the 2019, 2020 time, it was so entertaining that I was like, yo, like, I'm really trying to make a podcast, bro. And I really like how he talk. Like, if y'all notice, I'll be saying stuff like, like, I, like, 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 I got a lot of catchphrases from Gilbert Arenas on accident because of how many times I watch but you know, it just Gilbert Arenas is an inspiration to me, man. One of my favorite players, one of my favorite podcasters. And so, listen, bro. At the end of the day, bro, his mind for the game, like we just gotta stop the disrespect, bro. We just gotta stop the disrespect. Like I said, I'm gonna reiterate. A lot of people think he was just good for a couple years by accident. Disrespect, bro. We just gotta stop the disrespect. Like I said, I'm gonna reiterate. A lot of people think he was just good for a couple years by accident. While while the other superstar. Got that Xfinity Wi-Fi cooking up now. Got mail. Somebody already opened it. Yeah, man. My bad. I had to get in the house. The cross between the LTE and the Wi-Fi. You know what I mean? Make it choppy. The transition. I mean, but I mean, yeah, man. Like, 
I just don't understand the disrespect for Gilbert Arenas, man. Like, they'll praise a guy like Damian Lillard. Oh, yeah, we're going to get disrespectful. That's what I feel like doing. They'll praise a guy like Gilbert Arenas, I mean, like Damian Lillard all day, right? All day. When Gilbert was out here doing the same thing. See, if Damian Lillard said this, everybody would be like, yeah, Dame will cook John Wall. So how Dame will cook him, but, John, but uh, Gilbert Arenas ain't going to cook him. See, it's like I said, they mad because he has hot takes. They're mad because of certain hot takes that he has, bro. Everybody gonna have a different opinion. Right? Gilbert Arenas was faster than Damian Lillard. Um, you know what I mean? Shh. Damn, bro. He was just as clutch. Gilbert was literally Dame before Dame. But he's right about him being as fast as John Wall because when he hits that burst of speed, I'm not going to, like, I think in a foot race, John Wall will beat Gilbert. But Gilbert was explosive and fast when he was locking in. Like, as a player, you can get fast. Like, like a guy like LeBron James, like, John, like LeBron at his fastest is just as fast as John Wall. You feel what I'm saying to you? But n n nobody will think about it like that. Nobody will think about it like that. You said wall way faster and quicker. I mean, yo, but at the end of the day, like, you got to be under control. I think Gilbert was a better finisher. I think Gilbert was able to, you know, change change speeds, really actually read the defense a little bit better. Like, you know what I mean? Like, cross you over, one move and go. You know, and ones. Like, John Wall, like, you fast. But... You feel me? Like, now, unless if he just literally just, like, outrunning Gilbert the whole time. See, but that's what Gilbert... I think that's what Gilbert meant right there. I think I think that's what it is right there. I think basically what he meant was, you're not about to just be out, out, outrunning me the whole game. Because what he means is... Uh, Gilbert... Uh, what Gilbert means is he's fast, too. Like, John Wall got 99 speed. Gilbert had, like, 96. See what I'm saying? And so what what happened when John Wall get tired? Is the shot gonna be the same? Is the shot gonna turn into an air ball? Now, first of all, John Wall gonna be shooting bricks. Then when you have to shoot because you're too tired, you're gonna be shooting air balls. So you're gonna go from bricks to air balls. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I think I'm getting mad, mad disrespectful towards John Wall now. I think I'm getting re like real nasty now. So I I don't wanna make it seem like he's trash. Yeah, yeah, Glock. I'm getting a little too nasty now. But I just think I just think that with people in the comments was being disrespectful to Gilbert, um, and I just think Gilbert man would actually get a job done. I think he would actually outplay John Wall for a whole series. If they had a playoff matchup, I think I think Gilbert would outplay him for the whole series. Um, and that's just how I'm looking at it. Like people, yes, yes, John Wall is better on defense, but again, let's say if it's five on five, John Wall. I mean, Gilbert used to brag about Gilbert. Gilbert is a finesse king. He he be talking about how, like, yeah, yo, I, I used to let the shooting guard. He used to guard the point guard. So Gilbert might mess around not even guard him. Gilbert might not even guard him. Then it's really, then it's really just, man, like, then it's over. It's over with. You said Wall is a great defender, but but Gilbert is, when you were an elite bucket getter, it don't matter who, who, who can play good defense. It, it, don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. He dropped 60 on Kobe when Kobe was really trying to shut his water off. Kobe was really trying to like, all right, let me get Gilbert. Let me let me shut that down. And Gilbert dropped 60 points. I'm talking, you really crossing Kobe. Like, come here. Like, they shouldn't have put you on me. That's the type of game that was. You know? And so, man, like, John Wall, like, can't, John Wall, man, you know, well, he, he definitely, definitely a solid player, good point guard. I don't even think John Wall, I, I, I don't got him out playing. I got Baron Davis cooking John Wall. You know? Now, if Chris Paul has said this, said, if Chris Paul has said he'll cook John Wall, I'd be like, hell no. I'd be like, wait, I'd be like, hell no. But a guy like this where you can, you know what I mean, where you literally, like, is just as fast. Well, like, around the, around the speed range of John Wall, even if John Wall has the edge, like I said, bro, they both A-plus fast, fast players. Gilbert got three-level scoring with 30 points, man. 
Um, you said Gilbert closer to Dame than Steph. Yeah, yeah, Abraham. That's what I said. Like, get like Dame, a guy like Damian Lillard, right? They disrespect Gilbert. They hate on Gilbert so much, right? That a guy like Damian Lillard. If Damian Lillard said this and said he would cook John Wall, everybody would disagree with it. Like, yeah, you know, Dame is better because this and that skills and shooting. But what they don't know is Gilbert was literally Dame before Dame. You feel me? He was Dame before Dame. You said John Wall was the fastest dude in the league. Yeah, he was, but Gilbert basically was when he was playing. When Gilbert was playing in his prime, the fastest guys in the league, right, was probably D. Wade. Um, I would say Allen Iverson and LeBron James, because LeBron James is probably the fastest player in the league. And then you and and uh Gilbert and Gilbert Arena. Yes, G yes, Gilbert was that fast. Gilbert was 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 fast. That was that was his thing. He wasn't about to chop you up and over dribble and try to bink bink side to side you. He was gonna literally. He was gonna literally um he he was gonna one move and go. Hey, in New York, Clout, that's you, bro. I want to hear what you got to say about this. I already know you probably think Gilbert will beat him. I got Gilbert. You said Gil was definitely going to dribble. No, he's not going to over dribble. Gil was one move and go. One one crossover and go. And like, unless if he was trying to side you up. If he was taking too long to drive, he probably going to shoot it. If he was going to take too long to drive, he was probably about to shoot the ball. I gotta understand this about Gilbert Arenas. He's not like an over dribbler, bro. It's not like Steve Francis. No, bro. You said you got Baron Davis. That's just oh yeah, I got Baron Davis too. You got Baron Davis over both of them? So, cause, cause I seen somebody comment that earlier. I think it was post. Y'all got Baron Davis over both of these guys? See, cause Baron Davis and Gilbert, that's what I wanna see. I wanna see that. Oh, it wasn't you post? Somebody said they had him over both. You said you got Russell over both. I don't know if they was talking about one-on-one. -on -one. If you're talking about one-on-one, -on -one, I definitely don't have Rush. But I don't know if they was talking about one-on-one -on -one or if they was talking about... Yeah, Glock, that was you. It was Glock. I thought it was post because I knew it was somebody that I knew. But I I don't... Like, if it's five-on-five, five, like, Rush like Russ might be... Like, Rush probably cool. Like, they probably would. You said Vince Carter over both facts. You said, no, nah, Gil... Gilbert over Baron Davis, yeah. Me personally, I got I got Gilbert I got Gilbert Arenas. Matter of fact, after I eat later on, we probably do a top ten like one on one point guards. But um, what I was saying was as far as one on one point guards, I got Kyrie first, and then I got Gilbert. So me personally, I got Gilbert over. I would I would take Gilbert over Baron Davis. But I think Baron Davis is like third though. You feel me? I think he's right there. So over Curry as a one-on-one -on -one player, yeah. As a, as a just like, you know, mano y mano, yeah. I'm gonna go Baron Davis. You know what I mean? You said Gibb was pulling up for twenty eight to thirty feet. Facts, bro. And he was blown by you going all the way to the rim. He could pull up in the mid range. Post game. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. We're going Go into more detail about this in a couple seconds. Darren Williams is a good one. <laughs> yeah, yo, in a couple minutes, like an hour or something, I'm going to get back on live. We're going to go to detail. We'll probably have a top 10 list going. 